the first item here, the web client. This is available on uh, SQL if you're running 10.0 PL1 or above, as well as HANA. So the first uh, thing on our list is let's go out and let's look at the ever evolving web client for SAP Business One. So you, you probably notice I got there from my toolbar here. So on the toolbar, there's a new icon up here for the web client. And when you launch that toolbar, it takes you into a login screen where you can then select the company you wanna log into. So in this case here, we're gonna log in to Vision 33. We'll put in my user ID and my password here. And then just like that, I'll be taken to a home screen in a browser. And um, this is a, uh, uh, I'd say it's probably you know, maybe 70% complete. It still has a little ways to go. But from a reporting tool and analysis, business intelligence tool, this is a fantastic solution to, to even run side by side your client. So when I log in here, you'll see that it's a, kind of a different look and feel. Uh, so if I, um, if I hit the, uh, the hamburger over here, this will bring up the menu. So you can see what's there. You can see that you know, we don't have production. And, and uh, so that's a little bit missing, you know, capacity planning resources. So there is some, but most of the supply chain is here. The ability to take orders, the ability to quotes and orders, to procure material, to ship material, uh, and then to do some of the billing. It's all, it's all here. So let's take a look at this. Let's uh, slide the, uh, the menu down. And where we're at here is in an area called my home screen. And in the home screen, it is completely tailorable. So all of these pages are tailorable. I can remove tiles or I can come out here and I can add tiles. So let's say maybe I spend time in purchasing. I can come over to purchasing and I'd really like to have my purchase order tile on my home screen. So I can see exactly how many purchase orders do I have. And then I also might want to, um, oops, let me add it there, might want to have, uh, be able to just click and create a purchase order. And then lastly, I might want to look at my AP invoices. And so we've added those, uh, those options there. And so now if we, uh, if we go back here, let's go back to our, our home screen and let's uh, exit edit mode. Now I've got my create a purchase order and I've got 48 open AP invoices. And now let's just click and let's run a report here. So this is what a typical report looks like when you're running it in the web client. And you'll see a lot of common things, the ability to filter on each column. It's, uh, it's really a nice feature. The ability to come in here and pick the fields you wanna see, including user defined fields. That's also a, another nice feature. And then if you get the report the way you want it, for example, I don't wanna see just my AP invoices. I wanna see all APs, not just open. I wanna see everything. And so I can change my filters and then I can adapt my filters here and to this new uh, new look here. And if I want to uh, relabel some of these, uh, I can do that again, just a, a ton of tools that are available for you. Now, what's neat about this is we're looking at raw data, but with a click here, I can turn this into a graph and I can change the type of graph it is. So if I wanna see a pie chart, then I really don't wanna see record count. What I'd like to see is show me what my document total is. What do I owe an AP? And I might want to then look at my document total across my uh, different uh, uh, suppliers. So we'll go with the vendor name. And so I'm able to create uh, you know, instant dashboards and analytics from all of the reports we're looking at. There's a lot more I could explain here in these tiles. Um, one of those is the ability to also create uh, what I call mini cockpits. So for example, here, I have the ability to look at, uh, create a card view. So when I'm looking at my open AP invoices now, I'm gonna have the ability to export a table view, a graph, and then a card view. Now I haven't added any cards in here, but this is where I can click edit. And now I can go and add some additional analytics that I might want to see. And again, I can start by selecting you know, what are the, uh, the values, the Y axis, the uh, uh, X axis. So again, we'll select document total. And then we might wanna see that by uh, vendor, we'll find our vendor name here. And um, 
And then I can, you know, give it a title, a subtitle, we'll add this card. And so now I've got this, this new permanent analytic that now becomes part of my open AP invoice reports. Um, and then from here, if I want to, I have the ability then to actually uh, save these reports and share the data. So let me finish my edit there. There's my report. Um, it uh, uh, gives you, you know, your totals if you click. And again, we would add more cards. And by the time you're done, you'll have a really nice little mini cockpit set up uh, as part of your report for your, uh, your AP invoices. Now, um, once you get the view the way you like it, then you can also save the view and reuse those views. There's a lot more in the web client we can talk about, but we've got a lot to go through today. So we just wanted to give you a quick look and feel for that. But the web client is, is a very valuable tool, especially if you wanna do some reporting and analytics uh, against the database. It's a great tool for that.